What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk, and welcome to the wrap up. And today, I'm finally doing a review on on a movie that is about to get ready to hit HBO Max, which is why I am doing this review now. Well, finally, and that is the Batman, which is directed by Matt Reeves, and it stars Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, and Andy Serkis. And no, pretty. I mean, you pretty much know. Pretty much know like the storyline of it when it comes to any other Batman reboot at this point. You know, you got Batman, you know, he's fighting crime. And then you got a popular villain who is at large, you know, trying to stop, trying to take over Gotham. And also trying to stop Batman. And this popular villain is the Riddler, who was played by, by Paul Dino. And you want to know something? So I'm not, so you know, I'm not really a big fan of reboots. I've mentioned that a lot. And, you know, of course, I wasn't really looking forward to another Batman reboot because, you know, because uh, overall I thought Christian Bale is the best Batman and still is, you know, a little spoiler right there. And then, you know, you have Ben Affleck's Batman that had came about. And then when I heard they was doing another one, I'm just like, oh, great. OK, here we go. But you want to know something, though? I was pretty darn impressed with with Patson's performance and the movie. No man, the movie is the movie is definitely a it's a standalone, you know, it's a standalone of course. And this movie, you know, man, it definitely you know, am, am am I happy that they did a reboot of Batman? No, but at the same time, I'm also happy that I did check this movie out because, you know, it did have me prove proven wrong. Now when it comes to all the Batmans, I mean, yes, Christian Bale is the best, but do I think Patson was a better Batman than Ben Affleck? Yes. And then you got Zoe Kravitz, who you got Zoe Kravitz, man, who who plays Catwoman in this, who did such a phenomenal job. I mean, dude, man, she way better than way better than than Halle Berry as Catwoman. I mean, Zoe, man, Zoe, man, she should freaking she should freaking get an Oscar nomination for this because she because you know she definitely had acted her ass off in in this movie. And and then you got Andy Serkis, who plays Alfred. And Paul Dino as the Riddler. You know the, you know, the Riddler, man, you know, he looks different. And but you know, he still he still got that Riddler personality. He did a good job too. I mean, the casting was well done. And the storyline was good too. Action scenes were good. And the only thing I would say I didn't like about this movie was that it was yet another Batman movie that was just so damn long. Like there was definitely some scenes, well, not only just another Batman, but yet another DC movie that was just so damn long. To where there was definitely some scenes that just could have been taken out. But, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was, it's definitely one of the good movies of 2022. And from what, and from, from what I'm hearing, there are some sequels and prequels that are supposed to be made. And will I ever check out the sequels and prequels? Yes, I'll check them out. You know, because cause this was a good one. And, you know, and, and not saying that Ben Affleck was the worst Batman because... You know, we're not, because Ben Affleck, you know, I mean, he was a better Batman than George Clooney. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, Ben Affleck, he's not the worst Batman. But, you know, Patson, I think, did a better job as Batman than Ben Affleck on this one. And, you know, man, there are, and for those who haven't seen it, you know, there is. Pretty sure you already know that a few, there is another another special villain that's that's in it. He's my personal favorite villain. You know, and also, well, not just my favorite, well, yeah, he's my personal favorite villain, and also my favorite DC villain as well. But, yeah, man, you know, the Batman, if you haven't seen it, you know, and I'm still playing in theaters, I do think it is worth going to go see. Or if you have HBO Max, or if you want to just wait for it to go to HBO Max, then definitely check it out on HBO Max, because, you know, it, it is, yeah, it is pretty good. And, um, like I said, it did prove me wrong. And for the Batman's grade... I give the Batman a a B. Out of five stars, I give it I give it three out of five stars. So until then, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap up. If you like this review, hit like. Feel free to comment below what you thought about the review or what you thought about the movie. And if you want to see more reviews from me, you hit that subscribe button.